uh, held a meeting today at which they gave demands to the government to ensure fuel supply, the supply of spare parts, uh, increase the salaries and provide for social protection. If these demands are not met, the bus drivers will strike. The lack of petroleum products has already led to shortages of essential com uh, consumer goods in the outlying villages and cities. People have become simply cut off from the center. Many boiler rooms which use diesel fuel along with many poultry processing plants, housing units, hospitals and other facilities are without heat. At fuel burning electric stations there is less fuel than will be sufficient for a single day. We have this Druzba, Druzba pipeline moving across the Ukraine which is taking our oil out someplace and they're building, building a new pipeline for us from Iran and Iraq. It makes no sense. It uh, makes more sense to agree with Russia because we already have pipelines in place. We already have ties which are being uh, cut. The Russian and Ukrainian leaders should sit down at the table and work this all out and tell the people of the results. The recent information about increasing ticket prices for rail traffic uh, contained in imprecision. The Ministry of Railroads uh, says that uh, the ticket prices will be calculated in relation with December of last year and not January this year. It's complicated, but the question is, will tickets become more expensive? Everything is becoming more expected, goods and services, and not because life is good. The Russian and Soviet, former Soviet railroad ministries are in a very difficult situation, but the passengers are more interested in finding out how much they will have to pay for tickets and what services they will receive. We will have to pay more. From, from February 10th, rumors said that Railroad tickets would increase in price by three times. Is this true? No, this is not true. From April of yes, last year, we have a unified tariff uh, system in the country. And the various republics have increased these prices by three and four times. Russia has only increased it two times. The Russian railroad ministry and Russian passengers are in a uh, difficult position. It's absurd. A ticket from Moscow to Minsk costs 57 rubles. From Minsk to Moscow costs 96 rubles, although they're s sold at the same cashier. There is a unified, a single pr price list for the entire country, but each republic introduces its own coefficient of these prices or an index. In the Baltic republics, this index is 4.1. In Belarusia, 3.7. In the Transcaucasus, 3.7. In Russia, this index was formerly 2, and now it's 3. This means that prices are increasing by three times, not from the existing prices, but from this price list. So prices in comparison with January will rise by one and a half times and not by three as many time, as many people thought. The average pas passenger, we believe, will pay 25 to 50 more rubles a year in ticket prices. But as they say in civilized countries, increased prices should increase service. But don't hope for this. It will not get better. The resources which are available are sufficient only to keep the railroads working at the previous level. Uh, level. In Moscow, the, the agrarian scientists of the country have founded the Russian Agricultural uh, Academy of Scientists, of Sciences. We note the new uh, sphere of activity in, as well as providing scientific support for state farms and collective farms. These scientists will also support farmers and peasants who have their own land. And the second aspect is that this Russian academy will receive from the former Soviet academy 63 large scientific centers, which represents two-thirds of the scientific pot potential of the former USSR. Will, this, will the interests of other Commonwealth countries suffer as a result of this? No. The, rep the representatives of all the former republics participated in our meeting, and we have to give credit. The interests of law of working together are increasing, not decreasing, and the agreements which exist between the former republics will continue to be observed, and we have new long-term agreements which will also be followed. These are agreements on a mutual bene mutually beneficial basis. This is the symbol of an entire 
uh, age. It's the worker and the kalhoz worker statue, but now it's becoming only a Muchina sculpture at the REC. We're not used to this new abbreviation. It's the Russian Exhibition Center. This is our inheritance from the past. It's very large, 80 pavilions and a large park. And there is one more new uh, event. All the republics used to have their own exhibition except for Russia, which had none. Why are we making this new Russian exhibition center? We want to transform this old exhibition center into a new exhibition and fair complex where people would not only show their goods but also buy and sell them. We're also we're already preparing a trade hall. What will happen with the sculptures and other symbols of the past epoch? A commission has been formed which will determine their artistic value. Today in Belarusia, uh, because of the lack of paper, most Republican newspapers stopped print printing. In the Minsk uh, typography house, they said that the uh, printing of newspapers may stop entirely in the near future. There's another factor here. The increase in prices of newspapers has decreased the number of people buying periodicals at newsstands and has uh, decreased the number of readers. Newspapers are not meat or sugar, but they are still goods, and the prices on them are riding. You cannot see newspapers which cost less than two rubles now here. Most of them remain unsold and are sent back to where they came from. Komsomolskaya Pravda, for example, which, uh, which uh, Mikhail Zhvaryets used to say was so interesting that people r reading it on the subway would miss their stop. But now it's not funny. Pe these newspapers can be bought only through uh, uh, contract distributors. So uh, this Komsomolskaya newspaper should cost 3 rubles 16 kopecks and Sovietskaya Russia newspaper should cost 2 rubles 37. Soyuz Pichat distributors cannot afford to distribute the newspapers because one truck for distributing a load costs 100 rubles to rent. So the readers are losing out and it's up to you to decide to buy or not to buy. How many newspapers did you used to buy? I used to buy three or four, and now do you buy fewer? Yes, I buy one newspaper now, either Komsomolskaya Pravda or Moscow News. Have you been forced to give up newspapers because of the price rises? Yes, I've uh, stopped reading the sports newspaper. Today on Smolensk Square, a new uh, store called Arbis Style was opened today by the English firm C. Weiss. The director of the firm said that he proposes to uh, pr uh, to provide uh, elegant and tasteful clothing for uh, our people. Elegance and good taste are a definite necessity to add to the beauty of our women. He plans to dress our women from head to toe in high-quality goods at average European prices. They're all sold for hard currency so far, but if your organization can uh, conclude an agreement with a large or for a large order, they will sell for rubles. They have everything in uh, one to five uh, uh, copies of every article. People who are dressed well and elegantly cannot uh, say a rude word or engage in tactless behavior. In Tallinn, Dan Quayle came for a short visit with his wife uh, to be present at the first delivery of humanitarian aid from the United States. The vice president pre uh, was present at a signing ceremony with the U.S. Peace Corps, which is coordinating relief efforts to these countries. Dan Quell met with the uh, Estonian parliamentary speaker Arnold Rutter and the Prime Minister Tiet Vehi. They had a joint press conference. The, the U.S. vice president led a ceremony opening the American embassy in Tallinn and also managed to hear a concert by a boys' choir. Mrs. Quayle visited a rural hospital 
uh, outside of Tallinn. The four-hour visit of the U.S. Vice President in Riga was very full. The uh, honored guest delivered humanitarian hope uh, assistance at the airport. He came together with two military aircraft containing 50 tons of food, medical equipment, a part of which was already delivered to children's hospitals today. Uh, having placed a wreath at the uh, National Monument in Riga, Dan Quayle opened the U.S. Embassy in Riga. They discussed the program of educational assistance to Latvia with the Latvian President Anatoly Garbunov and Prime Minister Ivars Gordmis. Quayle's press secretary called this visit uh, an indication of the interest of the United States in the economic and political development of the newly independent Baltic 